Hey y'all, I'm on top of Tumbleweed here with the 2015 Victory Polo Match. Hey y'all, I'm with Greg Falk. Greg, tell us what the heck you do here. Well, we um, are actually trying to take polo and take it to not only to Austin, but general public and say, hey, this is an amazing sport. It's not a sport of kings. There aren't kings around anymore in the United States of America. This is UT versus a &M. We're on a field. There's no electricity. <laughs> There's no water. Um, these horses, every 99 hours that you spend on a horse playing polo, you typically will be in a hospital. That's the statistic. Unfortunately, people die every year playing polo. You're talking about animals that move at massive speeds, over a thousand pounds. And these young uh, professionals, but student athletes, by the way, many of whom are female, most of them are female, um, are to be beyond respect. And the horses themselves are athletes. So I try to take polo, take a, a step back and say, look, we've got, just like Austin, it's about enjoying life. You know, we can get dressed up, but we're here to have fun and respect the sport, respect the players, respect the, the concept of a big, beautiful open field and the outdoors. And we have over a thousand people show up for one of our first events, the first event in Austin. So Polo in Austin, I think, is here for a long time to come. And I'm digging your style, by the way. You are all about comfort, but you're really embodying the spirit of this game, right? I grew up, I got my, I grew up the son of a poor lemon farmer. That's not entirely true, <laughs> but uh, it basically is. And I grew up my first pair of shoes when I was 13. I used to walk through the snow for 10 miles. That's not true either. But I did grow up on a farm where we really didn't wear shoes a lot. And uh, we had a ton of fun and it's all about the earth and connecting to the earth. And, and uh, that's why I'm not wearing shoes today. Well, what's your take? What, what would you like people's takeaway to be from today's match? First, I hope they got to touch the horse. I hope they got to see the, the, how sweaty those horses are and, and, and how athletic those horses are. I would love for them to actually watch the match and realize that that horse is what they, there's something called a pony kick. The horses actually get involved in the match. I hope that they look at the, the student athletes and realize, oh my God, these are 18 to 22 year old females that ride like the wind and are kicking ass and, um, and are very impressive athletes. They so have two athletes, the animal and the student uh, and the player in a sport where if you go in the wrong direction, it can be extremely dangerous. And that's why, it's, that's when they talk about the sport of kings or it's a gentleman's sport, there's a line of play and it needs to be respected because otherwise it can become very dangerous very quickly. Well, I think it's gonna be a great day. I feel like it's such a great turnout. You have great sponsors here that speaks a lot to the event and I think it's gonna be a great rest of the day, right? Good having you here. We gotta get you to take your shoes off and I'm gonna wear your, your hat. You're gonna be wearing, wearing my hat. hat. <laughs> awesome, thanks so awesome. much, Greg. Thank you. Yeah.